Weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Tonight we've got a mostly clear sky. The humidity is still running kind of high right now, but that will be changing over the weekend. We've got a great sunny weekend out ahead of us and humidity that will be more enjoyably uh, comfortable. And then ne next week, and it's really toward the middle of next week, we'll even start the week nice. But as the week goes on, it really starts to heat up and still looking dry with no rain this weekend, other than the isolated showers and storms west right now, it's pretty quiet across much of the area. Take a look from our Prairie Band Cam. Again, you can see generally a, a sunny sky, a little bit darker conditions in the Junction City area as some clouds have been building in, and a partly cloudy sky in Manhattan as well. The showers and storms are over parts of Morris and Dickinson County, but most of the area is sunny. It's 93 with a heat index still of 101 in Topeka, 75 this morning, 93 where we are right now has been the high so far today. It's 89 at Holton, 93 in Manhattan, 94 at Junction City, and some 80s around Emporia and Burlington, both in the upper 80s. And up to the north, we're starting to see the dew points drop back into the 60s. This is that first little push of drier air. Notice Kansas City's dried out quite a bit, but still muggy over most of the ks &T viewing area. And the heat index running in the middle to upper 90s in Manhattan and Topeka, right at or above 100 degrees. So it is a humid evening. But here's a look at the good news. The, the good news that is still about 18 hours away. But the humidity drops slightly tonight heading into the morning. The highest humidity gets shoved away. And then by tomorrow afternoon and evening, much drier air pushes in from the east. The light east wind tomorrow into tomorrow night really dries us out. Saturday night into Sunday morning should be perfect out. And Sunday looks to be a gorgeous day. Warm but dry and comfortable. Humidity tries to make a run northward on Monday, should stay dry up north. Humidity starts to build in across the south. So you look at our comfort cast over the next few days, still a little humid to start the day tomorrow, but becomes nice, nice and dry for Sunday. Monday's pretty nice, and then the humidity starts to build in toward next week. Winds are starting to turn to the east. That'll eventually pull that dry air in place. We've been tracking these scattered showers and storms mainly over Dickinson County, Chapman, over to Abilene getting some heavier rain. Earlier had some showers over parts of Morris County, but much of it to the south, just a little bit, may clip very close to Junction City and move northward towards southern Clay County. Otherwise, the main ridge has shifted to the west, allowing for this unsettled weather, clipping us mainly to our south, though. And that will move on past us by tonight. It's off into central Kansas and moving away. And we're in the clear not only for the rest of tonight, but throughout the daytime tomorrow as well. We'll drop down to 67 tonight. Look for a high of 89 tomorrow with lower humidity than 92 on Sunday. Move back up into the mid 90s on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday on into Thursday of next week. We'll be into the middle to upper 90s with the heat and humidity building back in. Well, you can see from this photo, it was a beautiful uh, start to the day this morning in Scranton from Darlene Bogren. Looks like that uh, humidity will be breaking after a muggy start to the day tomorrow. By the end of the day, things should be nice. Should be a great weekend to get out and enjoy it. I think it may actually cool off enough that uh, maybe I'll start taking Lola back out on a few walks. She doesn't love the heat, but uh, you know. Who does? Yeah, <laughs> she's got that big coat on too. She so does. She, she won't take off her fur coat, so she likes it cold. 